December 14, Current Affairs 2017. PM Modi addressed India Incorporated at FICCI AGM. RBI raises FBI limit in G6, state development loans. ADB lowers India's GDP forecast for FY18 to 6.7%. Narendra Modi inducts Scorpion class submarine Calvary into Indian Navy. India signs loan agreement with World Bank for 250 million US dollars for Sankal project. DCI, NHAI and MOU for sand supply. India ranks 100 in Global Prosperity Index. Railways introduce vendors can now track status of bills online. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the doings of Indian industry at the annual general meeting of Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry FICCI, his first address to an AGM of a national business association after becoming the premier. After the inaugural session, Modi will interact with all the past presidents of FICCI. At this year's AGM, FICCI President Pankaj Patel, Chairman and MD, Zadis Kadila, will step down and Rashesh Shah. Chairman and CEO, Aid Advice Group, will take charge. The Reserve Bank of India RBI, increased the limits for investment by foreign portfolio investors FBIs, for the January-March 2018 quarter has been increased by 6,400 crore in central government securities G6, and 5,800 crore in state development loans SDLs. With the FIC from January 1, 2018, the revised investment limit for FBIs in G6 will be 2. 56,400 crore against the existing limit of 2. 50,000 crore. The Asian Development Bank ADB, has lowered India's gross domestic product GDP, forecast for the current fiscal by 0.3% to 6.7%. Attributing it to tepid growth in the first half, demonetization and transitory challenges of tax sector reforms. It has also revised downwards the GDP outlook for next fiscal beginning from March 2018 to 7.3% from 7.4% mainly due to rising global crude oil prices and soft growth in private sector investment. Prime Minister Narendra Modi commissioned India's first modern conventional submarine, INS Kalvari, into Navy's fleet in Mumbai, a first in almost two decades. Kalvari is the first of the six Scorpion-class submarines handed over by shipbuilder Mazagin Dock Limited MDL. The submarines, designed by French naval defense and energy company DCNS, are being built by MDL in Mumbai as part of Project 75 of the Indian Navy. The Navy last inducted a conventional diesel-electric submarine, INS Sindeshastra, procured from Russia in July 2000. A financing agreement for IBRD loan of 250 million US dollars, equivalent, for the Skills Acquisition and Knowledge Awareness for Livelihood Promotion Sankalp, project was signed with the World Bank. The objective of the project is to enhance institutional mechanisms for skills development and increase access to quality and market-relevant training for the workforce. Dredging Corporation of India DCI, and the National Highways Authority of India NHAI, have signed an MOU for facilitating the supply of sand for highways construction work. The business intermediaries will ship and store the sand at various ports in India and market it here. NHAI will facilitate the process by displaying the availability of sand at various stockyards at the ports. Under the MOU, DCI will dredge at Southeast Asia locations to generate large volumes of sand. This dredging will be done for the purpose of obtaining sand. After rising up in the ease of doing business index, India has upgraded its ranks in the Legate and Prosperity Index 2017 feed as well. At present, the rising trend in India's prosperity is significant in view of the fact that India registered lower economic growth following demonetization and implementation of the Goods and Services Tax GST, reform in 2017. The index, which offers an insight into how prosperity is forming and changing across the world, ranks India 100th on the list of prosperous countries among 149 countries. 
Vendors of Indian Railways can now track the status of their bills and get paid within 30 days of generating receipts through an online system introduced by the National Transporter to enhance transparency in the processing and settlement of bills. Under the system, the vendor or contractor need to register with the online IT platform developed in-house by Chris, New Delhi called Indian Railways e-procurement system IREPS. The registration enables the vendor agencies to see their bill status with dates through various stages of processing of bills, the stage at which these are lying, 